2TC is an achievement in Balloons Tower Defense 6. We need to complete a chimps game using just two towers. Today we're going to be doing this with the Super Maelstrom and the Balloon Cineration. Now logically you'd think put your tag shooter here or up here or here. Just so it has as much coverage on the track as possible. But no, we're going to be doing this in a slightly different way. We're going to have you over here and I'll explain why as we go on. It's very important you get super range tax right off the bat, so you have as much pierce with your tax as you possibly can. I believe it gives plus two pierce to per tax, so that's pretty good. Firstly, I'll give a small reason why. We're going to get shattering shells at some point in order to get to balloon incineration, and having the tax shooter over here means that we are largely in uninterrupted, sorry, when it comes to damage dealt, so therefore this cannot descale ceramics into rainbows, or even worse, rainbows into zebras and etc. So being able to instantly kill ceramics using the shattering shells is going to be a very positive thing to have. But number two, I need something to clear up the insides of mower class balloons, which is where the Super Maelstrom ability comes into play here. Now, what I'm going to say is quite similar to, let's say, a special operations where we need to go with the worst cross path. But in order for us to be able to go through the early game, we need to go through the worst cross path, which is the top one. You should use bottom cross path because the ability duration is much longer. We're going to get faster shooting and then even faster shooting. I don't like it because we're worse off later on, but I've tried testing the bottom cross path and it just doesn't fire fast enough in combination with this barely firing at all in the early game to where when you get a black balloon pop down here, there's barely any attacks going on when it comes to also removing everything that is below the black layer. Increased accuracy, if only we're gonna get burny stuff because we need signal flare as early as possible so that for round 24, we're able to decamify the camo green balloon. Round 15 is gonna be very interesting because this is not gonna be able to take them out, but with a combination of both of these towers, we will be able to do so, okay yellow balloons that's something which we may or may not lose to spoiler alert we will lose to yellow balloons after all this is a flare balloons video and if you're new here um spoiler alert i lose to yellow balloons quite a lot in this game oh my god a bit of lag there regrow balloons can be a little bit of an issue but as long as you have your mortar constantly firing down on them hopefully they won't be a bother at all round 19 we've got a bunch of pink balloons this could be where we're going to game over for the first time if we don't manage this very carefully because the speed of these pink balloons could just dodge all of our attacks okay round 20 this is the first round in which i'm going to fear these black balloons because honestly we need you down here to do all of the initial damage but we also need our uh, signal flare to be able to finish them off and all that jazz and it's the gaps between each mortar shell that could be bad but that is okay for the moment there are zebra balloons which are twice as worse i do want to not get bigger blasts than balloon buster but at the same time i feel like we need to in order to have some clear up after the zebra balloons are initially damaged i wasn't paying attention then we lost for the first time today late shooter yeah they got a wider um projectile so that's probably good right well i think it's good and does it get increased pierce as well if you go to blade shooter rather than just sticking that extra long range hmm you're gonna be fine to deal with round 24 the camo balloon this is why we need signal flare here's a little fact about this game the purple balloons and the lead balloons are the only balloons which cannot be spawned out of moabs they are their own unique spawn which cannot be um well cannot be given birth by a moab of any given kind okay so this is another round which i really fear because it's like a bunch of stuff on the screen but the faster shooting is really good i always fear that if i went with the bomb cross path we can't fire enough in order to actually get through those black and zebra layers lead balloons well the opposite problem here but <laughs> we have unlimited range of our mortar whereas the attack shooter is very limited for the time being more black balloons and zebra balloons oh gosh that's a little bit of a worry isn't it uh, perhaps we should have tried to get the um, ability a bit sooner but try and hold this off as much as we can hopefully it fires fast enough and be able to go through enough layers so that the mortar can damage them 
And that is a yes, perfectly timed on that green rainbow. I mean, green reaper grow. <laughs> Another round with black balloons. Main threat at the moment. Okay, we can get the ability now, which is pretty awesome. But still, at this point, I'd rather have the bottom crossbar because it lasts for longer duration. The ability doesn't come back any quicker, but the ability duration itself is longer. Yellow balloons with the odd zebra balloon mixed in. We can just wipe them out using the blade maelstrom ability. I'll use the ability again since we've got more black balloons to try and deal with. And honestly, we're just going to let these blue balloons uh, lay around for a little while so we can get our ability back for round 36. May not need it, but it's better to have it at the very beginning of a round than not. Also, these pink balloons can be a little bit of a stressful scenario if you leave them to just be uh, dealt with by the tax user since it's not going to do that anyways. More black balloons. Nothing to worry about. Is there was a zebra balloons on this round. Well, I'm just going to use it anyways. No, it's lead balloons. My bad. I thought there was... There's the zebra balloons. I thought they spawned on this round as well. Alright, let's deal with them all with every single one of these abominations thank you Red balloons again with you or oh, odd pink balloons sometimes they're so annoying because they dodge your attacks uh, the blade maelstrom might be blocked by lead balloons which is not good if that is for cash okay ceramics they're a little bit of a noise because we need to hit multiple shells onto them in order for us to be able to take them out but this should be okay Right, okay, thank you for downgrading down there, but we've still got the black balloons from the zebras there. Good. I know these rounds are kind of slow, but you're having a mortar with one of your two towers. You need to micro a little bit, okay? All right, let's now deal with the rest of the crowd here. And round 40, we'll be able to get the Blade Mushroom ability back when we need it. Ah, Moab, how are you doing today, my friend? If you're all having a lovely time where you are. Because soon you're all about to be obliterated. Here we go. Use the ability. And that is that round sorted. But we do have black balloons to contest with. Which is the only problem. Do we have the ability back? Yes we do. And we also zebra balloons. Luckily it comes back very quickly. So we can just use it again. But, but we do have some uh, red balloons here. Which is pretty nice. We're going to get super maelstrom first. Before we get shattering shells. Just because it will make our black balloon problem even less of an annoyance to try and deal with as time goes on. Uh, regrow balloons, no thank you. But blue balloons, I will keep. It is very, um, it's quite an advanced thing, I think, to learn that. If you don't immediately uh, take out the entire round in order for your abilities to come back, that can be pretty important in some of your runs. Once upon a time, Balloon Incineration and Pop Sidon was a doable two tower chimps. And then, the frigid damage type came along, Pop Sidon was included in one of those, and now it makes round 61 impossible. Yeah, we need to keep a mortar over here just so we can deal with all these pink balloons. Hopefully, we can deal with all of them just but four fortified leads left. What if there's ever fortified purples? I don't know. I think it would be a good idea. Not to include in chimps, but like ABR chimps or something. Also, we've acquired the Super Maelstrom, which we will use to clear up these fortified ceramics. And ceramics for the next round. Got to be a little bit careful there, because the, the ability does not at all uh, continue on to the next round if you failed that round. We can clear it much easier now because the Super Maelstrom has been given a buff quite recently where each of their blades now do two damage rather than one. But the pierce of the ability has been decreased from 200 to 100. But that isn't really that bad at all and let me explain why. When you give enough pierce or enough damage to a certain tower, bloody hell yellow balloons there. When you give enough damage or enough pierce to a certain tower, anything beyond that point is kind of negligible. So you would rather have it on something else. So if you're lacking in damage, then you'd want something that has a bunch of damage buffs. Or if you're lacking in pierce, then you appreciate the pierce buff and etc. But you don't always want to have constantly the same kind of things that... Oh my goodness sakes. You don't want to have too much of one thing and not enough of another thing. Otherwise, you're just going to be interacting with a weakness in which you cannot 
overcome because you don't have statistics to overcome one particular kind of thing. Something to mention about this update as well, update 45, is that Shattering Shells' price has been decreased, so it means that it has opened up a few more 2TCs with this particular, or Balloon Generation in particular, when it comes to doing those ones, just because you're able to afford Shattering Shells by round 40 with more towers. Singe of the ceramics and deal with the rest of you by that. Yeah, if we went bottom cross path, as I mentioned, that ability will last for much longer. But to get to this point, we need to go with the worst cross path. Uh, regrows? No more regrows. Also, another fun fact. The ability of Super Maelstrom is shatter damage type, but the main attack is normal damage type. Which is really odd, because they both used to be normal damage type. Thank you, Ninja Kiwi. Also, now that we do have the Shattering Shells, we no longer have to worry about ceramics potentially leaking, since we since we can solo them even when they are fortified, because Shattering Shells initially defortifies balloons. As of the time of this recording, only 20, not 20, like, thousand or anything like that, just 20 subscribers away from the big 10,000 mark hitting a new digit is always very nice to to go across like when you go from zero to one that is technically a new digit and that is technically an accomplishment your first subscriber uh 10 subscribers i don't think as much 100 subscribers that's quite big a thousand really big 10,000 pretty big um, a hundred thousand, that will be quite something if I ever get to that point. A million, I don't see a million, for goodness sake. So that would be great, but I just don't see it. Like, the stuff that I do is just a little bit too niche, rather than, uh, more catering towards a, a, a wider audience. Also, let's clear up these ceramics. We're going to be using that ability quite often throughout this run. And as you can tell, by using the ability, we leave something which we cannot by default pop. So that's not a good idea to always do. Ceramics get instantly cleared up. Place you here, and <laughs> the burn just speaks for itself. Welcome to a Mortar 2 Tower Chimps. A mortar microing is not an option, it's a requirement. Uh, looking a little bit scary for the exit of the map here. Hopefully no lingering pink balloons will escape the map good. I would say that the Super Maelstrom is the second worst tax shooter for two tower chimps. The tax zone by far is the worst. Like, it is only really good when it comes to, like, damage against Moabs, but it cannot clear up anything to save for its life. Like, the only thing that it does well is summon ceramics and not deals with ceramics at any given point in time. And obviously, Infernal Rain is the best tax shooter for two tower chimps. The only weakness it has are purple balloons and a newly acquired weakness of camo balloons since the meteor has no longer got any camo detection by default. BFB time. You know what time it is? Just more mortars laid on to it, just like with the Moabs, but it just takes a little bit more shell edge and then we'll be good. Although, will we be pierce capped with four Moabs worth of ceramics? I don't think so. Okay, that last one took a bit longer. There's a pop. That wasn't good. Can we go through this? Of course we can. Now, round 61. Let us focus our shattering shells on just these Moabs. The Super Maelstrom will be able to deal with all of these Zebras, which would be our primary weakness anyways, with a Mortar to our Chimps. Like it cannot do, Razor Doll. Actually, a Middle Path Mortar will be able to handle this round quite well. But Balloon Incineration? Yeah, round 61 is a bit of a no-go, unfortunately. And just ceramics left. Good. This will be a problem for later. Dealing with purple balloons. Let us deal with, hopefully, some of these Moabs and fortified Moabs. No problem, because we can de-fortify them. Okay, more of that, more of that, more of that. Good. Deal with all of those. And round 63... We should be completely fine against providing that the Super Maelstrom doesn't damage them. Good. Good. We can solo all of this. I mean, just look at the huge group of ceramics here. Just look at them and watch them all be instantly affected by the Shattering Shells. <laughs> just eviscerated. This is why we need the tax shoot at the back of the map rather than interrupting with the damage of the Shattering Shells. 
If we can get them all down to ceramic so we can wipe out the rest using the super maelstrom ability. Okay, we'll just do it now. Hopefully we'll do the damage now. Excellent. Oh gosh, I should not have used on that round because of all these zebra balloons. Who knew that one animal from Africa can cause so much harm or whatever its origination point is. Sorry if it's wrong. From testing, round 95 is the only one which is going to be a huge problem to me. Like, you're able to deal with round 98 very well with balloon incineration. Because if you get them all down to ceramics, then the Super Maelstrom will be able to take care of everything from there. Like, it is an excellent tower for clearing up for uh, what your other tower was able to do previously. Which is very good. If you are loving the video so far, or at least tolerating it, then... Thank you very much for sticking with me this far, but also if you want to see videos like this in the future, then please click the like button and subscribe so that we very soon can do a 2 megapots with, well not you, or you, actually you're worse than these two. By the way, two, two more to this. <laughs> Probably going to be one of the next videos if we get to 10,000 subscribers very soon. What? Gosh, pink balloons. That's why you don't want ceramics to get too close over here because they'll just go down to pink balloons. That's not something I can control. Okay, using the ability on the round, now that's much better. Surprise of the century, our next financial investment is going to be the super burny hot stuff that incinerates mild class balloons with ease. I'm not lying when I say that signal flare to Mega Pops is worse than base mortar because you are forced to run the. Um, you're forced to run the bottom cross path, which is arguably the worst of the three cross paths when it just comes to the first few upgrades. If you know Red Alert 2, this is a quote from the Magnetron tank or artillery, and this is a quote from the Brute. Mid game is very trivial. If you feel like you're going to be overwhelmed by ceramics, then just use the Super Maelstrom ability, and that's fine. Because there are times where you're just not able to get your uh, super, sorry, your shattering, sh super shattering shells, <laughs> triple S tier. Your shattering shells to be able to hit all of the ceramics on the screen just because there's so much going on at any given point in time. But once blue incineration comes around, then we don't have to worry about our weakness to black balloons, but we do have a new weakness to um, the balloons, but only the water fire aspect. Balloon incineration is finally here. Now our shells are more powerful and we can put up something that can actually deal a huge amount of damage. This is one of the most common, well, one of the most, um, I don't know how you call it. Uh, it's one of the most powerful towers really within the game. Like if you think about it, it removes the fortified property, which is something that I don't think any other balloon so tower that can uh, do i think that's, i kept saying balloon for some odd reason and if i did i do apologize but it's probably one of the few balloons or towers sorry that has a special property to it which other balloons you saying balloons other towers do not have can't really rely on the wall of fire when it comes to the purple balloons on this round and you can guess which other round which is going to be a huge ass problem when it comes to this scenario but we just deal with the rest of round 78 using the super mouse from a ability and anytime the rainbow regrows go into the wall of fire they have no chance of regrowing round 79 deal with the rest of there with balloon incineration now round 80 also again light work because of the balloon incineration now this is where things are going to get very interesting because it takes at least two blue incineration shells to actually get through the ceramic layer of these super ceramics and that even goes for super fortified ceramics because we remove the fortified layer before we do any damage so that's fine or could you deal with red of course you did could you deal with a lonesome red balloon of course you did same as round 81, but just with fortified BFBs this time. But once again, they don't matter because we can strip you of your of that property of yours. It is Moe the time. Do we have enough peers to try and go for all of this? The answer is yes. The round 98 will not be the same story. How about round 84? Do we have enough peers to deal with all of this without requiring our other tower here? At this point, the Super Maelstrom is just vibing, whereas this is doing all of the work. 
I mean, does this look like a monkey that has any mercy in its eyes? Of course it doesn't. That's why it's wearing those goggles to hide the radiation from its eyes. It's not from the tower. It's the monkey itself. Uh, if you look into its eyes, you will, be you will become nothing but ash. Round 87. Twice as many ceramics to deal with. Last one to deal with. Sometimes ceramics can be very scary. Because it feels like you're barely doing any damage against them against them side but it's just like there's so many of them in the first place it just feels like they don't do anything okay ceramics ceramics we're gonna need to use the ability there to clear up all of those i feel like we were pierced count at that point with a blue incineration's wall of fire and shells uh the rest of these this is a pretty good spot here because they spend quite a lot of time also corners are very good because we have the overlap of You've got to be kidding me. If you're a new viewer, you can see now <laughs> that I die a lot to yellow balloons. Round 90. DDT territory. What is going to be the best spot to leave our DDT? That's like our cursor on so we can deal with everything. Um, well, I've got to deal with this first. That's a bit of an embarrassment, isn't it? Uh, Dying to the first round where we've got literally one of the best things to use against DDTs. Both decamifies them and able to damage them with our huge, huge amount of heat going on here. Would you please pop? Thank you very much. That's not good. Yeah, we're going to need to use the ability in round 91 because all of these super fortified surrounds, because there's only so much we can do against them when they keep on swarming us over and over again. And use the ability there, combination of the water fires and the ability we should be able to deal with all of these ceramics left on the field. And this is going to be a non-issue. Yeah, non-issue. And if anything does linger through, it's not going to be a ceramic. It's going to be a much weaker balloon. And then now we should be to be able to finish them off from there. Uh, sometimes you do do too much damage with balloon incineration. You can end up being pre-scapped. Okay. Water fire at the end here. Sometimes you can create enough water fire so that then you can get full of the ceramic layers. But it's not always for certain. I like to have my ability ready for round night. 93, really? Blue balloon? It's not a yellow balloon, but I will take a blue balloon. I like to shave my ability for round 93. It's gone well that time. Good, 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 good. Goody, goody gumdrops. Hmm. I we should have just dealt with the DTs first and then prioritized the four to five DFBs. In a way, I think I should actually. Because then we just have to deal with each kind of threat separately. Rather than trying to deal with everything at the same time. And this is the result of that. It's okay. I'm fine. And boom goes. The green sh the green I was call it a green shell bear. <laughs> what is this Mario Kart? It is not over until it is over. Never ever say anything beforehand, otherwise you may jinx yourself just like I did there. Sometimes trying to deal with each Moab or each BFB is impossible because of the wall of fire doing too much damage. And I never thought I'd have to say that too much damage is a problem. But sometimes it can be. Super Maelstrom, your time has come to be the clearer upper that you were meant to be. Can you do it though? That is the question. This is where I need the bottom crush path. A little bit late into the round. Well, hopefully we'll be able to deal with all of this at, in due course. Put you down there, then put the rest over there. Good. Sometimes you've got to keep track of where everything is. Hopefully you can deal with the rest of this. Good, that's those down. Put another one over there. Oh gosh, no, 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 this is not good, this is not good, this is, this is not good. Take two of the last ZOMG on the field. Do not want to use the ability again, because we won't have it for round 95 when we might desperately need it. Okay, that is it that time. Good, 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 good. Okay, round 95, I know this will take so many attempts to try and do, so if this is not the one, then I'll swing back to you in the successful attempt of this particular round. Uh, DDT's being an absolute nuisance. Being an absolute nuisance, needs to use the ability right about now. Hopefully I can micro this. Hopefully I can micro this. Come on, DDT's, please be popped. Okay, I need to move you back over there. 
Okay, okay, okay. This is going very well, actually. Much better than I thought. It. Oh my goodness sakes! What the heck? Oh my goodness sakes! My first attempt on this particular round! Oh gosh, when I was really just trying to do this, this round took me so many try. Oh my. Oh, almost at my own words there. I'm so shocked. I expected myself to be stuck there for so many minutes and so. Wait, Dad, what is he doing? He's beginning to believe, son. Believing that he won't die to a yellow balloon this time around. Another opportunity for a super male storm ability. Goody good. And the ability can come back. And yes, the Super Maelstrom can indeed deal with a single red balloon. Another ability. Okay, hopefully that should be... Oh! That should be another defeat. Oh gosh. My old friend again. I'm not sure if I've said this before. But if you know, you know. But... First time that the Ground Zero, unlike any other Tier 4 tower, has done first before any other Tier 4 has done it. And I'm playing this particular scenario right now, which is the two tower chimps. And yes, the Ground Zero was the first ever Tier 4 tower to do a two tower chimps run. Paired with Wizard Lord Phoenix, I know, but it came before any other Tier 4 tower. Which is very neat. Can't break a fortified layer from deep so from zero MGs, but once we go down to the FBs, we can then do that. Okay, deal with these, deal with these. May need to put a wall of fire over here for it to deal with. And hopefully everything else can be dealt with with all that. <laughs> once again, another lingering red balloon. Round 98. Can we deal with all of these with just the uh, Super Maelstrom to clear up all of these ceramics? And the answer will hopefully, without question or shadow of doubt, be yes. But again, we need to be mindful of here. Of the, all of this. Okay, so this ability has just ended. That's kind of perfect timing. And the ZMGs have just gone down. Bloody hell. Okay. Right now, we should be quite scared, but we have the means to be able to deal with all of these lingering balloons here, which is pretty good, but the round, uh, the round is kind of getting very hectic, but we still can do this. We can't do it. We can do it, just not this attempt. How about this time around? Hopefully, hopefully. Get enough water fires to the back of the track here to be able to soak up all of these ceramics. Okay, let's go for this again here. Let's activate the ability again. Get the cursor over there so we can continuously do damage. Get the ability back up and running. Create some water fires for the back of a track here. Uh, back of a track. <sighs> this is where we need the 052. Oh, yep. Is this for one? Is this for one? A few too many there, but that could have been the one. This is looking better. Need you over here so we can make the damage miles. Oh, these miles could give us problems. No, they're not. What about these BFBs? Oh, we need to get these ZMGs down at some point, though. That's a lot of ceramics, but we have the pierce on our ability to be able to go through them. Ooh, this could look very, very bad, actually. Could look very bad. Could look very bad. Could look very bad. Do not. Please, okay, I need to get these down still. I'd rather have my ability for round 99, which is not looking too promising. But I think we can handle the rest of this, hopefully, hopefully. The rest of you. Oh, round 99. Okay, we should have our ability back when we really need it. Round 99, DDTs are the only big threat of this round. Hope we can D4 to fire them. Excellent, doing that, just that, doing just that, move the cursor back up there, good, 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 excellent, keep our cursor over here, keep the Moabs there, everything should be settled now, this is it, round 100, let's just build up the ability because it has nothing else to do at this given point in time, and this should be the run, it just depends on when the bad pops over, that's the thing, the key thing is to have the Blue incineration drop a shell on it just uh, after the baddest pops up, then it hits the DTs instantaneously. 
that is the idea so that then um, you need at least two shells on Badites to be able to uh, pop them and then after that also deal with the insides and hopefully we can just deal with the insides once the Badites themselves are popped so I'm gonna keep the ability just there hopefully we don't need anything else at this given point in time obviously we can't get anything else at this given oh my god no 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 this is not good this is not good uh, oh i need it but i need it but bad to be popped just before the, 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 the balloon generation shell landed so the dts could get some damage going on them There we go, that's the DDT's done and dealt with. This should be it. Holy gosh, once these go down to Moas, this is clear as done. Thank you ever so much for watching, everybody. This is the Super Maelstrom and Balloon Cineration 2 Tower Chimps, and that total damage is completely scuffed. <laughs> Apparently, the Balloon Cineration is done. About 70,000 pops more than the total damage warrants. What is this? Can anyone explain to me why this happens? Uh, Rohan from Ninja Kiwi. Do you know why this happens sometimes? I don't know. Perhaps it's something to do with the with how the damage is applied from a balloon incineration. Sometimes it's not always properly calculated. Right, the balloons. They're not my friends indeed. So that was a pretty interesting scenario. A few key things you need to overcome black balloons early on which is why i think it's it could be possible but i definitely need a faster shooting earlier on obviously once after you go through those initial difficulties then you would much rather go with the uh, the bottom cross path just so the ability lasts longer which would make round 95 even easier like i couldn't believe that like, when I was trying to do this initially, round 95 took me so many attempts. And then that one was like, you know, we'll just give it to you. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, everybody. Thank you all so much to newcomers or people who have been here with me for a long time. Thank you ever so much for being with me on this grand journey that we all have. Popping balloons and uh, exploring otherwise very, very, very difficult scenarios, which... um. Probably only a few people within the community when it comes to the entire community would want to encroach upon because who would want to do this sort of thing. Um, I think even worse would be trying to do it so that then you would have, um, let's say, tax shooter or tax zone, sorry, because um, that's not very good clearer upper where Super Maelstrom is brilliant when it comes to clearing up ceramics. The tax zone has fallen off over the years, honestly. And Inferno Rain... Uh, you're having a troublesome time around 95. You're trying to do Infernal Rain Ribble Incineration because your only source of um, purple popping by that point is the, uh, the shell itself and nothing else. Thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Let me know what you thought of the video down in the comment sections below. And um, the next video could, or actually, probably after the boss scenario, Blast Populous, it could very well be tier two, um, tier two Mortar 2 Mega Pops. But whether we can do it or not, we will find out. Hopefully in the near future. But thank you all so much to, to, to every single one of you. Thank you ever so much for everything and anything. Cheers for that, everyone. And take care of yourselves. Look at, look at, look at Patch with that pumpkin on the head.